Hello everyone. I am Prabhat Kumar Meher. Today we will be learning about references and bibliography in scientific writing. We all have heard about these two terms, reference and bibliography, and we will learn the basic difference between these two and which one is more important while we are writing any of the scientific articles. So proceeding to this topic today, first we will learn about the major differences. So what are the major differences between bibliography and references? So here we go. The first point is that bibliography is listing of all the material that have been consulted while on a writing and on the other part reference are those that have been referred in the article. To elaborate this point, I would like to give some example. So, bibliography is anything that we have consulted while writing anything, any article like newspaper article, like TV reports, like books, like research paper, etc. And the references are those that have been actually referred while writing the article. We will be explaining this point later on. The second major difference is bibliography is not directly included in the text while references are those that are directly included in your actual text. Here the actual text means your actual scientific article that you are preparing or you are writing. The other differences are the third one. References can be used to support your statement or argument. Here it is important that reference can be used to support your statement or argument. However, a bibliography does not have such role. It means that bibliography cannot support your any statement or argument that has been written in your scientific article. The fourth one is both bibliography and references are arranged alphabetically but a reference can also be arranged in numeric style. So these are the some major differences we have learned about bibliography and references. So we can know from these differences is that reference can be more accurate while we are writing any scientific content. So writing a references, what are the major thing we have to include in our scientific article? The content we choose or we refer for scientific writing may be a journal, may be a book chapter, may be a web content or website or web pages. But whenever we are referring these things, what are the important information we need to collect? While we are referring any article of journal or book, first thing is that we should collect the author names or editor name. If it is a book, we should collect the editor name. The second one is the publication year. We have to collect the publication year of that specific journal, article or book chapter. Like the title of the article or chapter, the journal name in case of a journal article and book name in case of a book chapter. And in some of the cases, it can be a publisher name and volume number or edition number and page number. These are the information we need to collect while we are referencing any article from journal or a chapter from the book. The second most widely used reference material is web content or website or web pages. What are the things it should contain? It should contain complete web address and second one is the retrieved date or accessed date of that specific web content, website or web pages. We may also include DOI, it is known as Digital Object Identifier. We will be elaborating these things in next slide. So this, there are some cer certain standard styles of references writing such as MLA citation style, APA citation style, Chicago citation style and Harvard referencing style. So what is MLA citation style? The MLA citation style is a modern language association that it stands for MLA. 
it established values for acknowledging sources that used in a research paper and it is most commonly used to write papers and cite sources within the liberal arts and humanities for its apa citation styles is known as american psychological association it is mostly used for documenting the research paper apa citation styles requires both in text citations and a reference list in the next slides we will be learning what are the major difference in referencing in the text and reference list likewise there are other chicago citation style and howard referencing style so while focusing on the one reference style that is apa reference style we have already known that apa reference style includes citing in the text and listing of references we will be learning these two things separately first one citing in the text while we are referring any of the work in our scientific article the work may be a single author written work that we are referring it may be multiple author work or it may be some work from association corporation government agencies so if we are referring a single author work inside the text then how we have to refer it here is an example suppose there is a statement that from theory of on bounded rationality and if it is written by simon in the year 1945 inside the text we have only to mention the last name of the author that is simon here and the year of publication of that specific paper likewise for multiple authors here is one example if it is two authors like here you can say the statement as has been shown clinton and peter clinton is one author and something peter is the other author so we have to write the last name clinton and the last name peter and we have to mention the year here and if it is more than two author it may be five author four author whatever it may be if it is more than two here in this case we have to write the last name of the first author here in the example you can see same effect was observed within the bracket the first author's last name that is chandra sekhan we have to put at dot and al it is called as at all and we should mention the year of publication likewise for referring association corporation and government agencies we have to refer their complete name here you can example you can see it as suggested in world health organization in the year 2011 so the next part is listing of references how we are we have to list the reference at the end of the our scientific article if it is an article taken from any journals we have to list all this information in a very compact way here is an example you can see see the ku g is the name of the author so the last name of the author should come first then the abbreviated from the form of the first name and the year should come in the bracket and then the title of the article complete article title then the name of the journal here it is the organizational behavior and human decision process and after the journal name we have to mention the volume number and issue number and after the volume number and issue number we have to mention the page number and it is the latest thing that is known as digital object identifier it is the single destination source we can directly write it is known as doi this is the one example how to list any articles in the journal likewise if we are referring a book the book can be of any type like some of the books have no author or no editor like some of the dictionaries and if any there is some book which is written by a single author and if there are some books that are written by or edited by some of the authors here if there is no editor and author we have to write the complete name of the book its edition its year and its publisher name and address likewise if it is one author the last name of the author will 
be written first then we have to put comma here then the abbreviation of first name then year and the complete name of the book name of the publisher and address likewise for edited book we have to mention the name of the editors and we have to mention eds dot it is the editor's name and then we have to put the year then name of the book and its publisher and its address and the more important thing is that nowadays most of us are referring to the web articles or web pages and if we are referring any of the web article we have to give the complete web address here is an example suppose i have referred an article that is designing a living mammalian cell and if i have to give listing of this reference i have to put it complete web address here you can see it is http double dot double slash www dot hypothesis journal dot com slash there is a question mark p equal to six seven five it means that if somebody will click this link it will directly take you to the specific article so and we have to write the retrieval date as it was retrieved on 12th november 2016 this retrieval date is important why because most of the web articles are dynamic once you have visited this article later on it may not be appear on that website so the retrieval date is important to justify your reference statement so <clears throat> which style to follow if we are writing any scientific article or for any journal or book the simple answer is that we know there are lot many standard formats are available like apa chicago howard styles so the simple answer is we have to follow the journal and book specific guideline every journal every book have their own specific guideline some might be following apa style some might be following mla style but we have to follow that journal specific or book specific guideline to write our scientific articles prior to submission or public publication in that specific journal and book so this is all for today i hope we'll learn the other things in more detail in subsequent videos thank you so much for watching thank you so much